Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. You are learning with Dr. Shobhanikam and today I'll talk about signal degradation in optical fibers. Basic requirement or basic expectation from any communication system is when we send some information at the receiver, we must get the same information. It can be data, it can be audio signal, it can be video file, any information. But there are certain parameters which degrades our signal. So today we are going to discuss about signal degradation in optical fibers and different parameters associated with it. So signal degradation is because of two important re uh, reasons in optical fibers. First is because of dispersion and second one is because of attenuation. Basic difference between dispersion and attenuation is in dispersion, in attenuation, it reduces amplitude of the signal. Whereas in case of dispersion, it reduces amplitude as well as it broadens the pulses. In optical fiber communication, we send our information over optical signal. So it broadens those modes. So signal dispersion or distortion is further divided into, into three types. Intermodal delay or second one is intramodal delay. Intermodal means when two modes are traveling simultaneously. Because of dispersion, they will get merged. Intramodal means in single mode. Dispersion or distortion within single mode. And polarization mode dispersion. Intramodal dispersion is further divided into two types. Or it occurs because of material dispersion and waveguide dispersion. Now, Let's talk about attenuation. I have prepared separate video on attenuation, how to, uh, the, <clears throat> how to solve numericals based on the attenuation. The link is given in the description box. It is possible that in many times in examination, questions are asked based on the attenuation numericals. So here, attenuation that is degradation in amplitude is because of three reasons. Absorption of light, light intensity, Decreases because of that absorption of light, scattering of light. In the light ray may take multiple paths. Because of that scattering, again losses occurs and radiative or bending losses. When we bend our optical fiber cable, then again instead of total internal reflection, it is possible some part of light will get refracted into cladding. So absorption is because uh, there are three types: intrinsic absorption extrinsic absorption and atomic defects intrinsic absorption is absorption is in infrared region absorption in ultraviolet region so see the major source of absorption among these three is extrinsic absorption it is because of impurity atoms present in the material of fiber and radiative losses are microscopic bends and macroscopic bends. Microscopic are very uh, small bends and macroscopic are quite large bends. And scattering losses are because of inhomogeneities or defects and compositional fluctuations in material. Now let's discuss all these parameters in details. The very first source of absorption is atomic defects. So at atomic defects can be missing molecules. They can be high density clusters of atom groups or oxygen defects in the glass structure. So because of atomic defects in the structure of fiber, the absorption occurs. It means light will get absorbed within the fiber. But this absorption is negligible as compared to extrinsic absorption. Then extrinsic absorption is because of presence of minute quantities of impurities. So which are those impurities? So impurities can be water ions dissolved in the glass. Then transition metal ions such as iron, copper, chromium and vanadium. So because of these impurities, light will get absorbed in the fiber. Then comes intrinsic absorption. The, see, there are three sources of absorption. Atomic defects, extrinsic absorption and intrinsic absorption. But intrinsic absorption is negligible and it is because of fiber material properties. 
after absorption next source of attenuation is scattering losses so scattering losses are because of compositional fluctuations in homogeneities or defects occurring during fiber manufacturing so during manufacturing of fiber if defect occurs see what happens <clears throat> in optical fiber light ray travels because of total internal reflection and for that refractive index of core is kept more than that of cladding's refractive index but because of fluctuations compositional fluctuations refractive index varies and because of those variations in refractive index instead of passing instead of following single path light ray may take multiple path and because of that scattering occurs let's see the pictorial representation i have shown here this is incident light because of total internal reflection it should have followed this path and this path but because of compositional compositional fluctuations it may take multiple paths so when we see color of sky as pink or orange it is because of scattering of light because light ray takes multiple paths so types of scattering are relay scattering and my scattering then comes bending losses so bending losses is when we use a uh, fiber optic cable for longer distance we can't keep it straight we need to bend it somewhere so when we bend our optical fiber cable so there can be microscopic bends very small bends and there can be uh, ma macroscopic bends so because of bending what happens see because of bending instead of traveling through core material it is possible that light ray may refract or it may enter into cladding material and when we when it will in, enter into cladding some portion of light ray it won't reach to the destination and that is why our some information will get lost so see here diameter is quite large so loss is 1 db when diameter reduces loss increases and at one particular point when diameter is very very small there is possibility that fiber will broke it will broke the fiber see these are microscopic bends very small bends so instead of traveling through this core it is possible that light will get refracted and it will not reach to the destination see here bare fiber and this is pressure applied fiber here you can see because of applied pressure here the uh, these are microscopic bends these are microscopic bends so here light detector shows maximum power but here you can see the power is reduced output power so attenuation is because of absorption scattering and because of bending losses now next is dispersion or distortion so dispersion results when some components of the uh, input signal spend more time traversing the fiber than other components when light rays are traveling some components are taking more time to reach to the to the destination attenuation only reduces the amplitude of the output whereas dispersion distorts both the pulse shape and the amplitude here you can see this is my input pulse and at the output you can see the amplitude is reduced as, as well as uh, it is broadens pulse see the this is step index multi mode fiber and this is graded index multi mode fiber so in graded index fiber attenuation uh, sorry dispersion is less as compared to step index then types of dispersion are intermodal intermodal means when multiple modes are traveling here you can see this is my first mode second mode and when the width increases because of increased width they'll get overlap after getting overlap the dispersion occurs so intermodal dispersion is the maximum pulse broadening arising from the modal delay is the difference between the travel time t max of the longest ray so this delta t is the maximum time of the longest ray and the time travel time tm t minimum of the shortest ray 
so the time taken by the longest ray minus time taken by the shortest ray is what delay intermodal or modal delay so your formula becomes l is the length of the fiber it can be 10 kilometers 20 kilometers n1 and n2 are refractive indices of core and cladding respectively and delta is relative refractive index difference Then comes intramodal dispersion. Previous was dispersion within different modes. Now this is dispersion in single mode. So intramodal dispersion depends on the wavelength of the light. Its effect on signal distortion increases with spectral width of the light. When spectral width increases, its effect also increases. And the spectral width is always approximately 4 to 9 percent of the central wavelength so two main causes of intramodal dispersion are material dispersion and waveguide dispersion so it was all about the signal degradation in optical fibers two region, re, uh, reasons attenuation and distortion or dispersion attenuation is because of absorption scattering and bending dispersion is intermodal or intramodal dispersion and because of that the signal quality degrades so if you found this video useful please like share it and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching